This is a very beautiful question, guys. Very beautiful question. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing question. It's a question from Russian Olympiad. Very beautiful question, guys. So please do this. Please, please try to do this question. Okay, I'll explain this. Very nice question. I will give you uh, three minutes rather. So I will start the quiz after one minute. It's a very, very beautiful question. So I'm starting the quiz now. So time is up. Let us see the results. Now let us see how we will solve this question. Uh, this is a very, as I told you many times already, this is a very, very beautiful question. First point you need to re understand over here is that, uh, so, so let, let me explain what is happening over here. A ball is being thrown from a vertically upward, a ball is thrown vertically upward from some point. Its distance from a fixed point varies with time according to this graph. You have to find the upward projection velocity. Okay. First, we need to analyze where will that fixed point be? Okay. From which the distance of the ball is being measured. Okay. So let's try to understand. Let's say the ball was thrown from this point and so it will go up. Okay. It will stop. So let's say the ball was thrown from this point, it will go up up till certain height, it will stop and it will come back. Okay, it will come back along the same line. Okay, along the same line and it will keep on, my, I mean it, it can keep on coming down because it is not given in the question that it was thrown from the ground. It might be thrown from some height. Okay, it might be thrown from some height. So we are assuming that we are, it, it, is, it is thrown from some height and it goes up okay and comes down okay and you can so right now we are not sure whether it is thrown from some height or ground but it so if uh, it is not thrown from the ground then this in this point will be sorry if it is thrown from the ground then this point in this point will be equal okay so what i'm trying to tell you is that 
we i am assuming that it was thrown from some height okay so that height can be zero as well so if it is zero that means it was thrown from the ground this is what i am trying to tell you so this is the trajectory of the ball it goes up this is the maximum height up till it which goes and comes down okay now the distance of the ball is being measured from a fixed point that fixed point can be anywhere that fixed point can be anywhere in this space okay now assume that this fixed point is p here please try to understand let's say that fixed point p is here okay so first thing you need to understand is that i am trying to project this point p and the direction please try to understand it's a good good question so i'm trying to uh, first of all you need to understand that the screen plane the screen plane is that plane which consists this line and the point so first you need to understand that there will be a unique plane if the point p does not lie on this line if the point p does not lie on this line then there will be a unique plane that will contain that will that will be uh, passing through this line and the point p okay because a triangle lies always in a unique plane okay please try to understand this is a very nice question guys what i'm trying to tell you that i'm saying that fixed point p will lie somewhere in this space that's it. let's let's say that point p is this so the screen plane is the plane which contains this line and this point this one what i'm trying to tell you so that means i can draw point p over here okay now in the screen so first i need to analyze where the point p can lie so i am drawing three scenarios let's try to understand let us say this is the this is the like this is the height up till which the ball goes okay uh, this is the height from which the ball was thrown that means it was thrown from this level it was thrown from this level okay so point p can, so this is the height up till which ball goes so that means it ball goes up till maximum height here okay now point p can be above this line so let me call this line as l1 let me call this line as l1 let me call this line as l2 so point p let's say that fixed point is f let's say that fixed point is f so point f can be above l1 point f can be below l2 or point f can be between l1 and l2 these are the only three possibilities okay there, there exist no other possibilities so if point f lies above l1 let us say point f lies over here so now think is this possible ball was thrown from here so ball was thrown from here so initially what was the distance between the ball and f so this was the distance ball moves up so this distance becomes like this so distance decreases ball moves further up distance further decreases ball moves till here distance becomes minimum ball starts coming down distance again starts increasing ball comes further down distance again increases ball comes down distance again again increases ball keeps on moving down distance keeps on increasing so you see what is it what is the variation of the distance F starts from a value decreases decreases minimum increases 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 but here you can see that there are two minimas so this is not possible hence point f cannot lie hence point f i am so sorry uh, okay hence point f okay hence so ignore this okay hence point f cannot lie here okay now if we assume that point f is here okay so you see this is the initial distance ball goes up so this will be the further distance hence like with respect to the initial moment distance should increase but here if you see distance starts from 6 root 5 and it decreases it goes down that means this can also not be the situation okay hence the point needs to lie between l1 and l2 point needs to lie between l1 and l2 now between l1 and l2 there are two possible scenarios point can be on this line or not on this line okay point can be on this line or not on this line so there are two possible scenarios now if i choose point p on this line sorry if i choose point f on this line then ball will cross that point at a certain moment so that means distance between that ball and the point f will become zero but here if you see the minimum distance has become 6 now never zero 
please try to understand what I'm saying. If the ball, if the if I choose the point F on this line, then the minimum distance between the ball and the point F will be zero. But here the minimum distance we cannot see as zero. Therefore, fixed point cannot lie on this line. Therefore, fixed point needs to lie somewhere over here. Now, if you see the scenario, so this is the initial distance, which should be 6 root 5. So this distance should be 6 root 5. Okay, ball goes up, distance decreases. You can see distance decreasing. Ball goes further up, distance further decreases. You can see further decreasing. At this moment, you can see distance becomes minimum. This distance becomes minimum. Ball goes further up, distance increases. So you can see distance becomes minimum and now further distance increases. Ball goes further up, distance increases. Ball goes further up till here. Distance becomes maximum, local maxima. So this point corresponds to this value. Ball starts falling back. Distance further decreases, again decreases. Distance again decreases. So you can see further decreasing. Again, till here distance decreases. So again, you can see the same minima, same minima. Very good question. Okay. And then again, when it crosses this point while coming down, so again, distance starts increasing after this value. So it increases, increases, increases. So you can see distance increases. Okay. Now while coming down, you can see that it has become greater than 6 root 5. Distance has become greater than 6 root 5. So that means ball was thrown from this level. It goes and it falls below. That means ball will keep on falling like uh, below L2 as well. That means uh, it was thrown from some height. By the way, that point is irrelevant to me. The idea is that this distance was 6 root 5. I hope you have understood the logic. This value is how much? This value is 6. This value is 6 because this is the minimum distance between the ball and the fixed point. And this is the top. This is the top. This is the, again, this is the maxima, which is this 10. Okay. So guys, I hope you have understood. If you have not, then please watch this very, very beautiful question. So now, if you, if you, if I, I'll draw this triangle again on the next slide. Okay. So this was the fixed point. Okay. This was the level from the ball was thrown from which the ball was thrown. So this was 6 root 5. Okay. This is the point which is of minimum distance in the entire duration, which is 6. And this is the distance between the ball and the fixed point, which is which happens when the ball was at the top of its trajectory, which is 10. Now, if you see this, uh, so basically this is 90 degree. So this is 6. This is 10. That means this will become 8. 6, 8, 10 triangle using Pythagoras theorem. You can understand this. This is 6 root 5, this is 6. So this will be how much? Under root of 6 root 5 square minus. So 6 root 5 square is 180 minus 36. So that means 12. So guys, now what do you understand? Ball was thrown from this level. Okay, it goes 12 plus 8. That means it goes up till 20. Okay, so it goes up till 20 and then stops. So, so that means at this point, you can say that velocity was u. At this point, velocity was 0. So you can use v square is equals to u square plus twice as. v square is equals to u square plus twice as for the upward motion from here till here. So here v is 0. u is what we have to find. Acceleration is minus 10. I'm assuming upward is positive. So acceleration is negative 10 and displacement is plus 20 right so u becomes 20 guys i hope you have understood i hope you have understood this very beautiful question very very nice question right